Good morning, dear community, and welcome to the House of Jinshen. Today is day... I have no idea anymore. I think it's week seven of being in quarantine, and all morning I've been letting it come to me what we're going to talk about. Um, so I would appreciate from you also some some um, things that you would like to hear me talk about, uh, some su subjects, flows, uh, let me know. I have another very fun one prepared for Monday though, so that will be a good one. Uh, I have decided, since I did with the book like boom, it fell onto the kidney energy, kidney energy. So we're going to practice the kidney flow, which it's interesting because we haven't done it yet. I love this flow. It's very, very helpful for back projects because, and I want to show you this. If you look at the flow pattern and can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. If you look at the flow pattern, you see how close it gets to the uh, spine. So it's very good for back projects that are close to the spine. When the back project is more lateral, you can use the bladder flow. Um, mm. As we're practicing the kidney flow, I'm going to read off to you all the attributes related to the kidney energy. So here we go. Uh, this flow, of course, is in the book, The Art of Jinshan, and it's on page 70, if you want to practice it later. Um, we're gonna place our right hand on the left little toe and replace our left hand on the pubic bone. So I always like to get right in here in that little toe on the bottom you may find some tenderness you want to like you know tweak it a little bit tweak that little toe and see where the tenderness is if it's on the lower part or on the middle part or on the tip i would guess for a lot of you it will be on the lower part on the inside so hold that there um, when you're holding the the inside and the outside of the toes you're helping on an organ function level and when you hold the front and the back you're helping on an SEL level so you know again this is just more information to have fun with so of course the um, kidney flow is fourth depth it's the energy cycle of fourth depth and the location, the safety energy location is 23. There's only one location on the level of fourth depth. Uh, that's why 23 is very powerful and the emotion related to it is, that's right, <laughs> fear. <laughs> Just see if you feel the pulsation uh, in your fingertips. That means that the energy is moving. Very good. And now we're going to move the right hand to the tailbone. So we're holding the pubic bone and the coccyx, which also helps with total body circulation. It helps the energy to descend and ascend. So again, we're getting uh, in another way, a full cycle of breath. The element of the fourth depth um, kidney energy is water. The function is muscle. And so what does all, all these attributes mean? It means that if you have a muscle project or if your muscles tend to get tight, then you can look at the fourth depth to help it. If you have, I just said the element of water, so that means anything related to water. For example, if your eyes need more tears or if you have too many tears that's related to the element of water, then a kidney flow will be helpful. So this is how, again, it becomes an art and how we can look at the whole project. And as my teacher Philomena Dooley says, put a project in a depth. And so this is a very nice and easy way to, to work with it. So in my book, I talk about the depth 
and uh, so if you have read that section then you can understand more about it the uh the stress is standing and like for myself i know that i love walking and moving around i love lying down i love sitting but just standing for me is hard so that tells me something about the forest depth um, so for you if it's if you're for example lying around a lot then it tells you something about the forest depth and maybe a kidney flow will be a good thing to do now we're going to leave our hands on the tailbone and move the left hand to the right 14 that's the base of the ribs and fourth depth also has to do with ears so for ear projects uh, for example loss of hearing or ear infections the uh, kidney flow can be very helpful The age is 46 to 60, which means that um, if a project related to the fourth depth comes up, uh, we see it as normal, but if we keep everything in harmony, if we keep this energy of the fourth depth in harmony, then that project may not come up and that project may be ears. So for example, loss of hearing. Um, if we keep this energy up, then you may not have that. So this is how we can use these, uh, these relationships to everything that I'm talking about today. The astrological sign uh, for kidney is Scorpio. So for example, if you are a Scorpio, you may want to uh, regenerate your kidney energy. Or it could also be that, that that's a need of yours. You always want to keep that in harmony. The planet is Mercury. And let's move our left hand to the 13. On the same side, so it's right above the 14, move to the 13. This is such an easy flow to do. I love this flow, it's one of my favorites. I uh, use it a lot on myself. It's also a toe flow, which means that it's for the critical needs in the body. It's, uh, it's similar to a spleen, but in the way that it does really nurture and energize the other organ functions. And so that's why I like it, this one very much. It's an ascending flow and the day is Wednesday. So the color is blue black. So what that means is, for example, you get up uh, Wednesday morning and you feel like, oh, today I really feel like wearing this blue black sweater um, and that is telling you that the color is helping to harmonize your fourth depth and maybe that there is some need there does that make sense or sometimes a, like a child uh, no i want to i want to wear this blue black sweater and you're like no you have to wear the green one today but they're actually telling you what they need they have this feeling that, that, that's what they need. So that's how it works. It's your sensitivity to these, um, to these attributes. Or for example, on Wednesday, when your energy is low, like Wednesdays tends to be a difficult day or a great day that tells you something about your forest depth. The season is winter. So if you hate winter, it tells you something about the forest depth. It's mm. cold also related to forest death so kidney flow will then bring some warmth and sunshine mm. uh, the taste is salty and so for example if you crave salt a lot then the kidney flow uh, is wonderful to do to harmonize it and then your craving of salt will go away so it's really mm. your body talking and listening to that and so now let's place our left hand on the right 12 the right middle of the neck that's the last step of this flow SEL 12 helps us to surrender and so you can move it all on the same line closer to the spine or more lateral depending on what you need individualize it for yourself 
and the smell is um, is putrid. So actually, that could be like um, I've had it with clients. Sometimes that the, the smell would go, come off their bodies, and that tells you also something about the depth that they need. I just want to tell a quick story about uh, when I was in Holland. When I first introduced it, um, maybe twenty more than 25 years ago. Uh, I practiced on, uh, I gave everybody sessions and uh, in everybody was gurgling a lot. So the gurgles is the sound for the forest depths. It's like when you hear the gurgles in your mm. stomach, when you give yourself gentian or someone else, that is related to forest depth. Now in Holland, it rains a lot and it's dark and gray a lot. So that's forest depth as well. And our food is licorice and old Dutch cheese, which is very salty. So you mm -hmm. see how even a country or a culture has a certain predominant depth. So this is really how we continue our studies and how we continue practicing this art. Um, this was the kidney flow. And so bring your palms together to close up this session. Tomorrow I will, um, I give, I'm giving a, a workshop for the cancer patient and caregivers. It's through the JCC of Manhattan and we put out a, um, an, um, a fly for that on, on our social media. So you can tune in if you wanna, everybody's welcome, it's free. And you can just sign up with the link. So I hope to see you there this tomorrow at 1.30. And I'm wishing you all a wonderful day and keep your forest depth in harmony. See you tomorrow.